is Theo Suresh, a male born Indian at the age of 13 years old. Theo and the Suresh family lived in central India <laughs> under the rule of the Kalachuri dynasty of Tripuri, or the Dalla region in present day Madhya Pradesh. With the expanding southeastern border of the Pratihara Empire, as conflict with the Pala Empire of Bengal was rising, Theo was called to war as the empire was running low on manpower. Theo had gone through three months of vigorous training. Theo going through his first battle, he was wounded badly with an almost life-threatening injury. He was then sold off into slavery. With his injuries, he was no use to the Pratihara Empire. After eight months of non-stop travel, Theo had seen lands like he had never seen before, seeing the cities of Constantinople and the great city of Jerusalem. Theo had found his way into the markets of Rome, where by chance he had met Cardinal John. Cardinal John had taken a liking to the young boy, purchasing him off the slave market, as he was interested in Theo's culture and ethnicity. Theo was a born Hindu, telling John of his religion. John had willingly asked Theo to convert to Christianity and see the eyes of God, Theo having no clue what this religion was. John would promise and mentor Theo through the likes of the church. With that being said, Theo had agreed to John's request. After seven and a half years had passed, Theo was a devoted Christian. Theo had decided in telling Cardinal John that it was now time for him to go home and bring Christianity to his homeland. Theo had finally set off, traveling through the rough seas of the Mediterranean through the orange deserts of the Middle East and through the mountainous regions of Persia, only to find him back into the jungles of India. He then found himself in the independent realm of the Chera Raj. There he stayed in the Dharma of Kalam, spreading the words of Christianity, with his popularity rising and his fame being known throughout the region. The Chera Raja Kulachakara had granted Theo the Dharma of Kalam, becoming a lord. The lands and seas of the so called called Silk Road have been made a vibrant melting plot of different peoples for generations, perhaps even before the rise of the great empires of Han, Rome, or Persia. Thanks to these extensive networks, there are flourishing communities with the origins from across Eurasia, even in my realm. Cooperating with them may be helpful if I am to achieve my ambitions. In particular, I have decided to reinforce relations with the Indian communities in my realm. The Indian subcontinent is renowned for many good things that come out of it. From inspiring faithfuls, followed by many to intricate and to intricate and skillful art, styles to wealthy networks of traders and much more. These people contribute greatly to our realm after all. Theo had asked Pope Nicholas to supply him with a hundred gold coins. Pope Nicholas had considered Theo's plight and he had decided to grant his request, hoping to spread the faith all across India. Theo had finally decided to spread Christianity throughout the rest of the regions of Kalam. The ruler of Chera had asked Theo to become a chancellor. Theo, wanting to be put on his ruler's council, would grant Theo amicable powers, hoping to one day overthrow the Chera Raj. Building an elephant tree. This would give us plus 0.3 tax, along with a negative 2% construction time and a a buff for damage and toughness for the elephants, while also giving us a plus two night effectiveness for the holding. Theo wanted to focus his military on the war elephants of India, as he had known what they could do in the art of war when he was a young boy. Having 250 damage and 55% toughness, along with getting a plus 50 damage buff in jungle terrain. As most areas in India were jungle, hills, and plains, this would give Theo a massive advantage when it comes to warfare on the Indian subcontinent. Theo was a temperate chaste and honest and compassionate man, an underlying principle of forgiveness. During Theo's time of the church, he had become a master scholar and being a theologian in his own right, and even considered to being a wise man. Theo even decided to diverge his culture from the one that he had sought himself from, relying himself of a spiritual doctrine, which would grant us monthly piety a plus 10%, control growth plus 15%, and faith creation and reformation costs as a negative 20%. He would divide, diverge his culture, being a Malal Malali. Malali. Malayali. Theo had created the Malayali divergence, small changes in like slightly different customs. It was easy to miss at first. Over time, the small changes led to chain to large ones. However, and now the Tamils living in Venadu have begun to identify themselves as Malayali. Instead, looking both within themselves and to the world large for answers, the Malayalis are becoming more spiritual and devout than before. With the Malayali people now looking for looking to me for guidance, it is time to set the stage for our shared future.
With the Malayali people converging, the Chera Raj's power was soon conceding on Theo's land. Theo had finally able to buy himself his first set of regiment war elephants. Sooner than later, Theo had found out the Chera Raj had allied himself with the Rashtrakuta Empire, as an independence war would definitely mean suicide, so Theo had to wait, biding his time to come. Theo had decided to build a large local Christian monastery, the first of many Christian monasteries in India. For those of status as myself, one way for us to show our devotion to God as good Catholics is to found Christian religious sites. In doing so, we not only improve spiritual lives of the locals, but also perform penance of our sins to demonstrate our piety. I thus ordered the construction of a large Catholic monastery. Here, monks and nuns can focus our spiritual matters and study theology and scriptures in a peaceful environment. This sizable structure may also host a number of services for local communities, such as through hospitals, schools, and various economical buildings like breweries. All in all, this building will take some time to finish, but I'm sure the wait it will be worth it. That being said, demanding a mass conversion on his land, many of his subjects would soon be devout followers of God. With Theo's Christian religious site completed, praise God, I have just received word that the large Catholic monastery I had ordered to be built has been completed in Venadu. With its great size and decent sized monastic community, it will provide many important services to nearby settlements and serve as a local center of learning and faith. We gain 100 prestige, 200 piety, and along with a recently built a large Christian monastery, benefiting us with monthly piety, prestige, and lifestyle experience, along with 0.4 development growth and an increase in Theo's popular opinion. With the death of the Chera Raj, the Chera Raj were in a vulnerable state. Even though they were ha still had a superior army, Theo would waste no time to go grab the Telugu band of the Kumbum. Kumbum, oh my. No, no. <laughs> oh, ah! Mercenaries, Theo would hire the Telugu band of Kumbum. I can't, I can't, I can't, I generally can't. Bro, the Telugu band of Kumbum. Who names that thing Kumbum? Theo would declare war for independence against his, uh, his overlord, raising all the armies. Theo having the war elephants while his liege did not. He would soon then march onto his liege's capital. With Theo winning the war, the independence war against the Chera Raj, he was now collectively able to have his own military and becoming a herbalist, learning the secrets of nature. It was now finally time for Theo to get a haircut. With Theo's new drip, he was now ready to take India by storm. And with that being said, Theo would declare the holy, a holy war for the county of the Maldives as grabbing those holdings would be a great way to seclude himself if his plan of crusading were to fail. Theo had even decided, oh my God, they're all children. Um, I don't know about this one, lad. A bit out of line for me, but... With that being said, Theo had decided to get married to it. <laughs> 10 year old child. Uh, in order to get a claim on the Rashtrakuta Kingdom, as the Rashtrakuta Kingdom had hold a significant amount of land in the lower parts of India. With that being said, with it, with a peace ending due to good diplomacy, Theo would then want, would once again declare war on the of the Chararaj, declaring a holy war for the rest of the duchy. He would then call in his ally of the Rashtrakuta Empire. As Theo's mercenary forces contract had ended, he did need help from outside forces. And with that, a valuable hostage was captured. With Raj's brother captured, Theo had managed to win the holy war against the Chara Raj. Theo's wife had given birth to his first daughter. She had inherently inherited a wheezing trait. The only thing all right was to call her Wheezy Weezer. Theo would, also, would soon also invest more into his war elephants, increasing their size up to two out of five. 